Hey everyone, Damon here. Um, uh, this is not a uh, like a, a a formal video that I want to edit or um, add any any kind of intro or outro to or anything because uh, this is a video that I never ever expected that I'd be doing, and I, I wanted to put something out there quick, um, especially for fans of Quantum Leap. Um, for people in that um, in that fandom who follow all of the podcasts and uh, the different Facebook groups. Um, as of the time that I'm recording this, which is December 26th, um, I, I found out literally this afternoon, and I'm in total shock still, and in a state of denial, that Matt Dale, the author of Beyond the Mirror Image, the Observer's Guide to Quantum Leap, which is what was supposed to have its third volume, uh, some published sometime next year. He unexpectedly passed away on Christmas morning, apparently due to uh, complications um, from an epileptic seizure. Um, and I, I found this out literally like around noon today. Uh, I was out with my son. Um, spending the day with him, trying to have a real great time with him, have fun with him, because uh, my wife is working, and and, and, I, and it literally, like, right, I was just checking my phone quick, and it popped up in my feed, and I had to sit there in the car for a few minutes, because I just couldn't believe it. I I, I still am in shock. I, I, I didn't think it was real. I, I, I It just happened so suddenly. Um... I, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of share um, a bit of what I posted on Facebook uh, a few hours back. Um, that kind of best summarizes how I feel about it because um, this is this is hitting me hard. This is this is hitting me really really hard. I mean, I, I there have been times I was kind of crying a little bit today. Um, so I, I'll, here I'll just share. That for anyone who really isn't aware, I mean, he he's basically been a, a pillar in the fandom for many years now, and he wrote he wrote the original edition of that book in 2016, um, and uh, you know when he's been re when he redid all these books, I mean, he even had a foreword um, by Deborah Pratt herself, who's the co-creator of the original show. And that's a huge deal. I mean, it's even on Instagram now. You see all these all these these people and the actors in the current show and even Deborah Pratt all expressing their condolences. I mean, this is a big thing. Um, and then he became, uh, he took over as one of the co-hosts for the Quantum Leap podcast, which I had the honor of guesting on one of the episodes with him earlier this year. Um, and this was a few months after he did a segment for me for one of my video reviews. Um, um, so I, I, I've kind of done stuff with him twice already, and I was looking forward to kind of trying to collaborate with him a little bit more in the future. Um, and I'm, I'm really, I'm really sad by this, because um, I. So this is where I'm going to say like some of what I had written down before. Um, while I never got to meet him personally, um, I've had the privilege of getting to know him better over the past year or two through private messages, especially in discovering these podcasts and um, helping him and me help, you know, and vice versa. Um, it This is hitting me hard because as someone who suffers from social anxiety and is borderline on the spectrum with many obsessive compulsive tendencies that often make it difficult for me to feel like I belong or fit in anywhere, Matt was one of those few people I've met during my life, um, outside of a few people, including Amada, my wife, um, that I felt a deep connection with, uh, his geeky and obsessive compulsive attention to detail rivaled my own. And when I discovered the world of podcasting a few years ago and and I tried my hand at doing all the stuff, and I and I and I wanted to try to get something out there for people to enjoy. Um, 
as I said before, he was kind enough to be a guest for one of them. I in turn helped him. And then when I ran into some technical snags, um, I kind of reached out to him and asked for his help. Um, and he, he could have brushed me off and he said, he could have said, I don't really have the time. Um, but, but he didn't do that. He, he tried to find time and, and, um, he helped me out. You know, he, 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 he didn't have to do that, but he did because he, because he, he thought I was doing a really good job with, with my content that I was putting out. Um, you know, I, I, and when I express my own frustrations and I'm wondering if anybody even cares or pays attention to what I'm doing with any of this, because because there have been times where I wanted to give this up, I, I I really did. It's been especially the past few months have been so stressful with with a lot of things, real life, and just wondering if if I'm even making a dent, if I'm if anybody's watching me or paying any attention to me, and me feeling like I'm just like nothing I do is really going to be worth it. Who's going to pay attention to me? When I expressed my frustrations to him, he 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 basically told me, he encouraged me to keep doing this because my voice and opinions are just as important as anyone else's. You know, it, it and it made me feel good. You know, it's it's as I said, he's one of the few people who I've met who I really felt connected to. And like I, we, I felt like I was part of his tribe. Felt like we we're part of each other's tribe. You know, he's my people. I'm his people. You know, uh, and and despite that large five hour time difference between us, because he is on UK time, <laughs> um, and even though we haven't known each other for a very long time, I considered him a mentor and a friend. And I'm really going to miss him. This is hitting me so hard. He was an inspiration to me, and he is going to sorely be missed. The fandom is not going to be the same without him. I feel for his family. He left behind a partner. He, he left behind a son uh, who I think is not that many years older than mine. Um, I don't know exactly how old he is, but we, we, we've shared discussions even when not talking about Quantum Leap, we would talk about family stuff and making time for family and and how you always make time for your family and 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 you know don't rush to get anything done. Just you know, just you try your best and 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 just and and take your time with stuff. It doesn't have to be perfect the first time around and and you know just that quality time with your family and and. Um, I'm gonna miss him a hell of a lot. I it, it still just doesn't seem real to me. Um, but I wanted to get that out there to everybody, um, especially if you are in the fandom. Um, and I'm sorry if 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 you're hearing this first from me. Chances are you've probably seen it all over Facebook or Twitter or whatever they're calling Twitter. Um, it's 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 pretty much everywhere. Um, there's a GoFundMe for. His, his family, which I, 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 you know, if you can help them out, um, I, I'm going to try to help them out any way I can. Um, you know, they're, they're getting the help, but if you have it in your heart, to, I know it's a tough time, but um, yeah, um, I'll, I'll, I'll provide the link for that in this. Um, I'm just kind of at a loss for words, but I wanted to get something out just to express my deepest condolences to Matt. Matt, I, you were a great guy. You you were so wonderful to talk to. You were, as someone else in the fandom has said, you were kind of the glue that held the fandom together lately. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, it's not gonna be the same without you. Um, I know. Um, we we're, we're all in kind of discussion. I, I I also threw it out there to a bunch of people that will probably try to coordinate something, maybe among all of us, you know, doing these podcasts or whatever. Um, just to kind of talk about him to pay some tribute to him. I don't know. We don't know when that's going to happen. Obviously, this is still very raw, and um, a lot of us are hurting. Um, even one even 
the ones of us that did know him very well, because I, they, oh, other people certainly knew him much better than I did. And if I'm hurting, I can only imagine how they're hurting. So, anyway. <sighs> Rest in peace, Matt. Uh, I'll see you in the future.